In today's video, we're gonna check in on Bitcoin. Of course, if you've clicked on this video, you are very well aware that Bitcoin has suffered a pretty severe crash over the past 24 hours. So what we're gonna do in today's video, we're gonna do some technical analysis and see where the price of Bitcoin is headed and also do some digging to find an explanation as to why we saw such an aggressive drop in cryptos today. Anyways, let's not beat around the bush, guys. Let's get straight into the video. First things first, let's take a look at the broader cryptocurrency market. The prices that you guys are seeing are actually after a lot of these cryptos have recovered, okay? Bitcoin over the past 24 hours is down close to 12%, but it did actually touch around $42,000 over the night. So that's pretty severe. Ethereum is also down close to 7% over the past 24 hours. Even if we take a look at something like Solana, that's down close to 8%. Cardano is down close to 12%. Cardano is all the way back to $1.42. So that's absolutely insane. Polkadot is down 17%. Dogecoin is also down close to 13%. Avalanche is down close to 13%. Polygon is down 14%. Litecoin, 18%. Uniswap, 18%. It's just been an absolutely brutal day for cryptocurrencies. And to be fair, it's been a pretty tough week for cryptos as well. The question that a lot of you guys have right now is what is going on? And also, have we gone bearish on cryptocurrencies. Let's break it down. Let's start off with liquidations. Now, of course, the chart that you guys are seeing right in front of you contains two key pieces of information. We have short and we also have long. The bars that you guys see in green reflect longer term investors that have held on to Bitcoin and anything that you see in red are typically short term investors. What you see here, which is very, very prominent, is we have a huge green bar, which indicates to us that long term investors have sold out of their position. And of course, a lot of these positions have been leveraged positions too. Of course, this incredible selling of such a tremendous amount of Bitcoin has basically initiated an aggressive sell-off in cryptocurrencies, a broader market cryptocurrency sell-off. So this is not specific to Bitcoin. Now, why did this happen? There's no exact reason, but of course, in previous videos, guys, we talked about a ton of factors in the macro environment that has contributed not only to the weakness in cryptocurrencies, but also into the stock market as well. We have the fear of interest rates going up. We have the fears of inflation and the fears of this new COVID-19 variant. So there are a ton of things happening at play. Of course, there is a Federal Reserve meeting happening on December the 15th, and we have new inflation data coming out on Friday of next week. There's so much going on in the stock market. With that being said, I don't think anyone would have anticipated us to see this type of a sell-off, especially over the weekend, but you know what? It's just part of the market and this move has definitely caught all of us off guard. Let's switch over to tradingview.com and do some technical analysis and take a look at some key points for Bitcoin. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, right now Bitcoin is really trading at a very significant area. We could potentially go bearish if we break some of these levels. But again, I'm trying to be optimistic and I wanna be very factual with my information. I don't want this channel to be overly bullish and overly optimistic. It's important for us to really trade with what we see instead of trade with what we feel. It's not always about how we feel a trade should go. Sometimes we just have to look at the facts and look at the charts to get an honest answer about what could potentially happen. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. Of course, I'm gonna go on the five day view and don't stress out too much about all the lines and all the colors. I'm gonna explain everything in detail so you have an understanding as to what's going on with these charts. Now, as I'm filming this, the price of Bitcoin is trading at $48,220 and the price of Ethereum is trading at $4,000. We'll talk about Ethereum shortly here, okay? The first thing that I wanna pay attention to is what happened over the past 24 hours. We're gonna zoom out, see this incredibly deep sell-up that we had basically overnight. We dipped all the way down to around $42,000. That is a pretty violent sell-off. We go from Friday all the way down to the most recent sell-off. We're gonna go right here to around 55,000 all the way down to 42. That's a drop of around 24% in basically less than 24 hours. That's when you see capitulation like this, or in other words, an aggressive sell-off, a lot of this has to do with some of the major whales selling off their position, and a lot of it has to do with stop loss orders. So as the price of Bitcoin drops, all of these stop loss prices have been triggered, which further exacerbates the sell off. And that's why we see such an aggressive spike downwards on the price. Now, this is not specific to Bitcoin. As I mentioned, this happened across the whole cryptocurrency market. Within a span of around 30 minutes, we went all the way from 42,000 all the way to a recent high of around 50,000. So we recovered around 18% literally within a span of around 30 minutes. So we dropped around 24% and then we recovered 18%. So the volatility is absolutely extreme. 
the different colored lines that you guys see on the chart reflect different areas of resistance and support. In this case, it's gonna be areas of support. So the first area of support that we had on the chart is this line in yellow, and that was around the 53,400 area. Of course, we did initially have some nice support on this level, but then we broke below this quite substantially. The second area of significant support that we have on the chart is going to be around the $50,000 psychological level for Bitcoin. Now, of course, whole numbers, whether it's one, 5, 10, 50, 100, 50,000, 1 million, whole numbers are typically areas of psychological resistance or support. In this case, it was an area of support for us. We couldn't hold it, and now we're trading much below that price too. The third area of support that I want you guys to pay attention to is the area that we're actually trading at right now, and it's colored in basically a light red color. It's around the $48,000 area on the chart. And as I said, it looks like the price of Bitcoin is currently trading at that level. Whether we see a bounce off of this level or a drop, we're not sure yet. Again, we wanna see how this is gonna play out over the next couple of days. The fourth and very crucial area of support that we have here on the charts as well is going to be around the $45,000 to $46,000 area on the price of Bitcoin. So we did initially drop all the way down to around 42, but we had a nice recovery from that level. So if we do continue to drop guys, the next area that I want you to pay attention to is gonna be around the $45,000 to $46,000 area on the Bitcoin chart. Now, the line in white that you guys see right here is around the 40,000 psychological area. If we break this level and if we close below the $40,000 level, Bitcoin is going to go into bear territory. So please pay attention to the $40,000 area. This is not to scare you. This is not to make you frantic. This is not to spread FUD. This is just the honest truth. Pay attention to that area. I hope that we don't reach it. But again, it's something that you guys have to be cautious of. Let's zoom in on these levels so you guys have a more comprehensive look at these charts. The first area, as I mentioned, was around the $53,500 area. This was confirmed to us as a very significant area of support because it was confirmed to us right here. It was also confirmed to us around this area too. And of course, it did it prior. If we zoom out to the one-year view, it did it a couple of times all the way back here, but I don't wanna zoom out too much. We're just gonna to stick to the three-month view for now. Now, the second area of significant support that we have on the charts is gonna be right around this area right here, which is around the $50,000 psychological level. It was confirmed to us around this area, and it was also confirmed to us around this area too. And once again, whole numbers are typically significant areas of resistance or support. The third area, as I pointed out, was around the forty-five dollars to $46,000 level on the charts. Once again, it was confirmed to us around this area back here and also around this area right here. And for a third time, it looks like we did briefly break below this level and then we recovered. And now we're back at the orange line, which is around the $48,000 level on the Bitcoin charts. Let's take a second and look at the moving averages. Now, of course, there are two lines that I want you guys to focus on today. It's this line in green, which is the 50-day moving average, and the line in dark red, which is the 200-day moving average. The 200-day moving average is the one that's gonna be in focus today. And this is typically a very significant area of resistance or support on the charts. And this is a lagging indicator, but it does help give us an indication where we could potentially see a bounce. What's really interesting, let's zoom in a bit closer, look at the line in red and look at the line in red that I drew. They're basically touching each other right around this area right here. So not only has the line in red that I posted here on the chart been confirmed as a solid area of support, but we also saw the price action bounce off of the 200 day moving average. So that tells us a couple of things. That tells us that the price of Bitcoin is at a very critical area we really need to hold this position and see some level of a recovery from this point. Ideally, over the next couple of days, we wanna see a significant bounce off of this level and then a continuation of the bullish trend. Now, the danger is if we can't hold this level right here, as I mentioned, and we continue to go downwards, if we can't hold the $40,000 area for Bitcoin, Bitcoin is going to see some further losses. So make sure that you pay attention to this. So we saw an aggressive capitulation all the way down here. And then we saw it bounce off of the 200 day moving average. And right now the price of Bitcoin is trading at this area right here. So for me, it does look like an early sign of a recovery. What we need to see over the next day or two, and this is really important, right now we need to see an aggressive recovery from this area. We're trading at around $48,000. We wanna see Bitcoin possibly challenge the $53,000 area on Bitcoin over the next couple of days. 
If Bitcoin fails to do this, if we continue to trade within this area right here, for example, that's a pretty significant sign of weakness for Bitcoin. So please pay attention to this. And again, this is not to scare you, but it's important for us to take a look at these charts. Most importantly, if the price of Bitcoin it does drop below the 200 day moving average, which is the line in red, if we close anywhere below that moving average, that's going to indicate to us further weakness. And it's very likely at that point for us to see more losses on the price of Bitcoin and also on cryptocurrencies. If we zoom into the five day look and we go to the five minute view, we can see these areas quite clearly right now. Again, we bounce off of this level, which is the line in red, which is a very substantial area of support. We bounced upwards and now we're currently trading at the third area of support that we have around the $48,000 area. So we want to see Bitcoin really bounce off of this area that we have here in orange, break the area that we have right here and consolidate within this area and then potentially gain more strength and break officially once again over the $53,000, $54,000 area on the chart. Guys, this is really, really important. I know things are getting kind of sketchy right now with how quickly this drop happened. We're still in a bullish trend for Bitcoin. That trend is still in place. We haven't closed below that 200 day moving average, but if we do, again, it's gonna be a sign of weakness. And as this situation progresses with Bitcoin, I'll make sure to post videos to keep you guys updated. Let's take a second to look at Ethereum. In recent videos, we did a Fibonacci analysis on the price of Ethereum. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing in this video too. So we're gonna go all the way here to the left. We're gonna click on trend-based Fibonacci extension. We're gonna to go to the most recent drop or the most recent low all the way to the most recent high. And then we're going to extend all the way down here. So that's gonna point out a couple of key areas for us. Now we're gonna zoom into the six month view and I want you guys to pay attention. Again, we have talked about these areas in previous videos. Fibonacci extensions are great for us to find areas of support and resistance on the chart. What I want you guys to pay attention to is we previously had a very strong area of support around this area right here, which is the line in light blue around the $4,500 level. Now we couldn't hold this level and then we dropped all the way down to the second area of support. It was around the $4,100 level for Ethereum. And once again, we couldn't hold this level. And then we dropped all the way down to the third area of support around the $3,800 level for Ethereum. Now with the capitulation that we saw in the prices of crypto, Ethereum actually dropped all the way down to $3,500, but we recovered quite significantly from that area. What I want you to pay attention to is this line in green around the $3,800 area was a substantial area of support right here, as you guys can see on the chart, and we bounced off of that level. Even though we dipped significantly below that area, we quickly recovered. So right now, the $3,800 to $3,900 level on Ethereum is a really significant area that we have to pay attention to. Ideally, just like Bitcoin, we wanna see a quick recovery above the $4,100 level right here. It's really good for Ethereum, at least right now. We are above the $4,000 psychological area, so that's a good indication. We need to hold above this level and make a quick break above the $4,150 area. So we wanna see a bounce upwards and back into this area right here. And again, just like Bitcoin, the bullish trend that we've seen on the chart is still intact but we really need to see a quick recovery here, just like Bitcoin. If we don't, if we break below the $3,500 to $3,600 level on Ethereum, Ethereum could potentially go bearish. Now, cryptos in general, all of them are at the mercy of the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to lead the market. If we see a significant drop on Bitcoin, you can assume we're also gonna see a drop on Ethereum too. Folks, I just wanna put out a quick video for you guys. I'll keep you updated with how all this progresses. I hope that the declines don't continue to happen, and I do hope that we see a quick recovery here. But at the end of the day, we're at the mercy of the market, so we'll see how all this is going to play out. Guys, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.